Yes, yeah. so if you can see, I'm in a different room today because um, that red room that I normally broadcast from is, it doubles up as our guest room. And we have got my parents, my, my parents-in-law staying with us. So they're using that room. So I am downstairs in this room that I always used to have at the beginning of the pandemic, but then I got told off for being too noisy. And so we redid that room up there. So I'm normally locked away at that room, but I am in a different location. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is that my parents and Laura, due to um, uh, arrive back and the two dogs that I have will probably go bananas, which is not very relaxing on a Friday evening. Anyway, let's see how we go. Uh, let me just quickly, da, 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 da. yeah, all right, so brilliant, welcome everybody, and if you're new to yoga in the boardroom, welcome, you're new to my Friday flexes, you are very, very welcome, so Friday flexes is just a chance at the end of the week to iron out those knots in our neck, to relieve that tension in our shoulders and stretch out that back, all of which have been sort of hunched and crunched up during the week from being on the computer and working too too hard. So Friday Flexes is all about 30 minutes of stretching exercises to loosen you up and limber you up so that you can slide into the weekend and um, not have all those aches and pains. So the first thing I want to do today is just do some deep belly chest exhale breathing. So um, just to sort of like um, I feel it's like been a bit of a heavy week this week and um, just with the atmosphere and all the different weather and all that kind of thing. So just some really just need to get it all out and um, get some sort of fresh oxygen, oxygen in. So sit really comfortably with your belly nice and loose and relaxed. And then it's a three step breath. So inhale, fill your belly. Let it travel up to your chest, keep filling. And then exhale. Okay, so inhale, belly, up to your chest, and then exhale, <sighs> inhale, belly, up to your chest, and then exhale, <sighs> two more of those, inhale to your belly, up to the chest, and then exhale, <sighs> So last one, into the belly, into the chest, and then exhale. So just let it all out. Just see, close your eyes for a minute and see whether you can feel any physical effect of those deep sort of belly chest exhale breaths. It's for me, it's an instant karma. It's sort of like, I feel like velvet when I do that. It's lovely. All right, so when you're ready, just start stretching your neck very, very gently from side to side, stretching out those side neck muscles that get so tight. I think, you know, partly if you're like me, when you're concentrating, if you have that real concentration face like this, I think you just have so much tension when you don't even realize you're doing it. Or maybe you're a tooth grinder at night, you know, and all that tension goes into your jaw. So just slightly, just stretch, 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 and then start just sort of creating a bit of space between your shoulder and the ear. So kind of consciously holding down your shoulder as you stretch your neck away from it. So to side, to side. All right, excellent. And then just some circles with your, with your nose, as if your nose, the tip of your nose is a felt tip, and you're trying to do circles I find that you know for me I think I a sign that I am still achievement focused is that when people say this I try in mentally to get my little circles perfect and it frustrates me that they're not perfect circles anyway I've clearly got lots of things to work on all right lovely and then to, just to the side okay so over we go side over your shoulder chin parallel with your shoulder over to the other side, really stretching out that, that neck, that side neck, center, over we go to the side, center, and over we go. All right, so shoulders, just start to 
really roll them back, opening them up. And let's actually, let's just start with um, uh, palms out to the side and let's do that thumb back. Just feel, are you very tight today? Just thumbs pulsing to the back. See whether your chest is really tight today. Start to sort of open it up. Can you feel those shoulder blades, the muscles in the back squeezing together? <sighs> open it up, open it up. Okay, and then bigger circles, involve your elbows. Like you're drawing circles with your elbows now. I think I can get those more, more, um, what do you call it? It's not symmetrical, it's like oh, nice round circles. And then arms up, you can interlace your fingers and then down, forward, and round, forward and round, and then here, if you can, let's clasp behind. Clasp behind, um, if you can, or remember, just get a sock if you can't quite reach. Roll your shoulders back and down, look straight ahead. Just enjoy that opening up. Reach through the crown of your head, your neck is an extension of your spine, and imagine you're being pulled up by the crown of your head. And here, if you like to, Increase the stretch at the front. Just raise those hands away from your bottom. And if you like, hook them. I've got a more sensible chair. Hook them on the back of your chair. This is the perfect chair for that, actually. Ah, and then just lean forward. Stretching out those delts, those pecs, those biceps, everything. that gets so tight when we're hunched over a computer all day. All right, deep breath in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Release gently and actually let's go for a forward fold. Um, so stand up if you like to, if you, if you don't want to go for a forward fold, just raise your hands again but for those of you who would like to just bend your knees bend over from the hips and then over you go with your hands and hang down just let it sigh sigh it out let gravity do its work and pull you down bend your knees so that your torso is on your thighs your hamstrings will not be warmed up so just don't even attempt to do straight legs all right and then when you're ready just let go of your hands and let them run down your backside and your your legs so that they hang down if you want to grab onto the the elbows grab onto the elbows and hang down in your rag doll slowly letting your spine really really extend nod your head yes shake your head no you can almost try and draw, draw a little circle with the, the top of your head. And then release your hands and roll vertebra by vertebra uh, all the way up. And, and just hover before you get to the top. It doesn't look very elegant, but, you know, just letting your, you know, just letting your arms hang down like this. It's sort of like really stretching between your shoulder blades. Just stop where you feel the most tightness, you know, and just allow yourself to decompress and let those knots sort of unknot themselves. Okay, all the way up. Exaggerated shoulder roll. And then I'm gonna sit down again. All right, so that was a sort of shoulder warm up. Let's get deeper into it. Let's do some cat cow. In fact, actually, no, let's just do some stretches. So one arm up, and the hand behind the, um, well, in between the shoulders, wherever you can reach really. See if you can get your elbow all the way up. So already this is a nice stretch up here. If you want more of, more of it, then come and grab it the other side and pull it over. So here you still want to be finding height, making sure that your, 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 the arm behind your head is not pushing your head forward. If necessary, just kind of push back into it. So really nice and straight up and pull that hand open. 
and in a way you're kind of still wanting to roll that other shoulder back and down great shoulder opening all right and release and then do the other way so the other hand the other shoulder the other elbow points up the other hand behind behind the shoulders and then this one comes over and pulls it back ah. There we go. I've got lots of comments on one of my videos about my belly button. So um, I'm just conscious now that actually is, I think my belly button is half showing. So um, there's a lot of stuff in yoga about the gut and the importance of the, the, the stomach. It's the home of the Manipura chakra, which means the city of jewels. And uh, the city of jewels, they are willpower, determination, and the courage to get through obstacles. So maybe those belly button people are all about the Manipura chakra. Okay, so hold on both elbows, really stretching up. Yeah, because I like we let you know our gut is so important and um, we have a gut instinct, don't we? About whether things are right or wrong. And uh, it's a lot to do with strength, I think, the gut core. People say people are cowardly or they're gutless. It's a lot about the gut. All right, and release. And actually, while we're here, let's do the seaweed, the seaweed roll. I don't know whether it's a roll really, but just stretch, side stretches over to the side. Really, really opening out. All those sort of side going from the hip all the way up to the armpit and over the arm. Really, really stretching out those, those ribs and those obliques. Up we go. It's not something that we think about stretching, but gosh, it really does feel good. You realize how many kind of muscles you have down your side once you do it. Okay, over to the other side. There we are. One more on each side, I think. It's like a, a lang languorous day today. I don't know whether I've said that right. Lang languorous. Languorous. Okay, all right, here we go. Lovely. So um, I think we'll just do some sort of like uh, um, cactus arms to scarecrow. So roll your shoulders back and down. Elbows, you know, I, I always try to feel my, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but try and make sure your elbows are kind of going back towards the wall. So they're like back pushing them back and your, your palms are parallel with your elbows. So everything's going back, such a great shoulder opener. And if you like, you can just curl backwards like a little back bend and look up at the ceiling. Exhale, everything comes over and we do that scarecrow. So everything curls over. Inhale, up we come. So elbows back, palms back, back bend, up, and exhale, fold over, scarecrow. One more time, up we come, and over, and exhale, and down. And actually just speaking of the Manipura and Chakra, of course, one of the most, the, 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 the most well-known ones is your Anahata Chakra, your heart chakra. And Anahata means unhurt or unstruck. And I think that's very significant because if you hurt your Anahata Chakra, your heart chakra, really what you're damaging is your own self-esteem. So when you berate yourself, when you're critical and all of that kind of thing, just think about that, you're hurting your Anahata Chakra. So let it shine forth. All right, let's do some twists now. So let's do the um, figure of four twists. So uh, um, ankle up on your knee, cause it's like just getting the maximum out of this stretch. So stretching, you're really uh, um, stretching your hip outwards. And just a word of warning, if you've got tender knees of any sort, please don't push yourself here. You know, we, I know you can get all kinds of knee replacements, but I really think just be respectful of the knees. The knees do an awful lot for you. So make sure you do an awful lot for the knees, but whatever's comfortable for you, if you can do this shape, the figure of four shape, then brilliant. Um, sitting up nice and tall, 
cross the arm over the body, inhale, the other arm goes up and over. Like I said, I've got a sensible chair today for this. Inhale, find that height, raise your eyebrows if that helps you find height. And then exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. If you can suddenly hear a lot of thumping, it is my dog who is wagging their tail so hard against the floor because my teenage daughter has come home. Um, and she's uh, she's off camera. All right, so switch over. Ankle on the other knee, if your knee allows it. Respect the knee, respect the knee. Cross body. I like it, it's like a cross body bag, isn't it? Cross body, uh, hand on the outside of the knee. Inhale, the arm goes up and over. Rests on the side or back of your chair. Really find that height, raise your eyebrows. And exhale, twist. Use that hand against the knee to help you twist a bit further from your torso. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. One more. Inhale up and exhale, twist. And release. All right, another twist. Let's do another twist. Oh yes, this is the one that I really liked the other day. So um, if you get your, yeah, your, your elbows, your hands up here, roll your shoulders all the way back. What we're gonna do is just um, pulse twist to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then back and the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now here, what we're gonna do is twist and then fold forward to see if we could almost like, like get our elbow to the opposite knee. So off we go. Not super comfortable. And then up. And then twist. And then over with that elbow, down to the knee. And then up, twist, and over, up, twist, and over, and up. Okay, so I want to show you actually today, because I've got a bit more space, a stretch against the wall that you can do. And speaking of the Anahata Chakra, remember it's the heart chakra, and um, it's obviously the one to do with love and expression and, and kindness. And remember that anahata means uh, unhurt, unstruck. And so it's just a reminder to be kind, obviously, to others, but be kind to yourself. Because if you're not kind to yourself, you're striking or hurting your own heart center, which basically means that you, you, know, you, you, you are beating your own self-esteem. So, so I'm going to show you something now. If you, if you stand up and find yourself a wall. I'm just gonna use this door here. Come to about a arm's distance away from the door. And with your feet um, hip distance apart and your knees and, and hips soft, just uh, uh, creep, what is it? Like just um, take your fingers up until you can lean against the door. Now here, from the hips, bend from the hips until your forehead touches the wall. Now here, this is just a really nice and pretty intense shoulder opener and heart center opener. You will probably feel a stretch in your armpits, probably in a way you've not felt it before. Now here, if you're not feeling anything and you want more, the trick is just to slide down the wall, still putting your forehead on the, the wall. So the more you slide down, the more intense it will be. And there's one more way of making it more intense, which is instead of your forehead on the wall, you put your, you look up and put your chin on the wall and look upwards. It's sort of like doing puppy, what they call puppy pose, but against a wall. 
So something like this. It is a really, really big shoulder opener, chest opener, heart opener. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. When you're ready, just slowly come out of it the way you came in. And then just shake it off. Okay, all right, and now that I'm standing up, let's just do some of those nice standing stretches. So here we go, feet hip distance apart, interlace the fingers, all the fingers up, push your hands down, and then inhale all the way up. Exhale, tilt over to the side, inhale up, and exhale over to the side. Inhale up, flip those palms and round the back, really lean forward or curl over like you're curling over a massive beach ball, stretching out between those shoulder blades. And then inhaling up and then exhaling over to the side, twist, 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 and you can pull with that hat, the back hand, and then exhale back. Actually, I've, I've confused my inhales and my exhales. Exhale over to the side. Inhale back. We're gonna pass our hands through our body, clasp them at the back, pull them all the way down. If you wanna stay here, stay here. If you wanna lift up those hands away from your bottom, do so, and if you want to flip over, then follow me, bend your knees, bend your hips, and over you go. Let your head go. Try and see if you can place the weight of your body more into the balls of your feet than the heels. Careful with your balance. Enjoy this nice stretch. Okay, and then release the hands, let them roll down to the ground and hang down or hold on to your elbows with the other hands. Letting everything go, ragdoll. You can sway from side to side if that makes you feel good, if it stretches out your sides as well. And then let the hands go and again we're going to roll up vertebra by vertebra all the way to the top. Rolling our shoulders up and back, palms forward, and then bring your hands to prayer position, your heart center. And today I wanna to finish with a little meditation. So hold your hands like this. This is the Lotus Mudra, because it looks like a lotus, but I think it sort of makes like a little bowl, uh, bowl that is sort of at the, the, the um, bottom of your heart. So we're going to do 10 rounds of breath. And what I want you to think about is on every inhale, to think of something positive about you, something you like about yourself, something that people have said, something that is a celebration of you. And on the exhale, I want you to drop it into your Padma Mudra, your Lotus, your lotus Hand Gesture. Okay, I'm going to count you. So, remember, so here we go, you can close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So inhaling good thoughts about yourself, and then exhale, drop those thoughts into your Padra Mudra. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. 
Inhale and exhale. So close your, your Padra Mudra over into a prayer position, squish it together and imagine you're sort of pushing it into your Anahata Chakra, your heart center to stay there. And if you found it hard to come up with 10 things, then I really want you to spend the next couple of days, the weekends, really thinking about those things because if you can't find 10 things and you probably are um, striking or hurting your Anahata Chakra. You are probably being self-critical and beating yourself up a bit too much. All right, so we are gonna leave it there today. Namaste, the light in me bows to the light in you. And uh, thank you so much for coming and I will see you again next week. Take care.